Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we are about to tackle my biggest carb yet this morning. So both excited and intimidating. Um, most carvers would find this pretty funny. <laughs> so we're about to do a four foot Bigfoot. And yes, for me, that is my biggest carving. I know that's nothing compared to what other people have done, but it's my biggest carving. So I'm excited. Um, I'll show you guys the blueprints in a second. And uh, then I'm gonna grab Marco to help me with this log. I'm gonna be using my biggest log today. Um, it's about 20 inches in diameter and already chunked into a four foot section. So that's what we'll be using. So I'm gonna grab you guys. I'll show you the blueprints and then I'll show you the log. So we have our sketches here. These were the first two drafts I kind of whipped up for the customer and he got to pick between A and B. So we're going with B, which was a standing and waving Bigfoot. And then you have just kind of more detailed sketches over here, all to scale for our log. Speaking of which, this is my biggest log. And this is what we're gonna be using. Also, before we get started, I want to show you guys something that's pretty cool. So my neighbor just dropped this wonky looking log off. I don't want to tell you what I see, okay? I don't want to tell you what I see. I want you guys to let me know in the comments what you see, because if you guys can give me some good ideas on this, we could make something pretty cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys would make out of this. Um, back to Bigfoot. Okay guys, I just finished lunch. I had a chicken pot pie and some mashed potatoes. So I figured I would show you before I set you back up on the stand. Oh, you can see he has the bent arm here. That will be his waving hand. Um, and then you have this kind of arm that's gently hanging. I got almost all the way through there. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna define his legs now and then we'll start kind of shaping him up. He's actually shaping up pretty good. He's a little hunchback, a little booty. So let's go. not too shabby for a day's work. We're gonna wrap it up. I'm kind of sad because um, you can see we have a big storm rolling in. So I think it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So I won't get to work on him tomorrow. So what is today? Today's Monday. So we'll get back at it on Wednesday. Every 
Second, I wanted to cut out his feet, but I keep telling myself I should leave the feet alone to the very end, just because if I thin up his legs or change his legs at all, that's gonna change how his feet are. But you can see, I kind of spray painted it. So he's gonna have some big feet, obviously, cause he's Bigfoot. I got his legs separated. You can see he has a little wave here. And then um, I left this really thick. You can see how I left kind of this triangle here. And I'm gonna dig the chainsaw in really, really deep here. So it looks like really long tufts of hair. Kind of like, um, like see how this is like longer, you know what I mean? So, and like around here in the front. Almost like a lion, but like not, cause it's a Bigfoot, you know what I mean? So we'll do that. Um, I'm not gonna touch the face too much until I know exactly what I wanna do with it. So I'll probably leave this kind of blank. He kinda looks like an astronaut right now. Honestly, that would be a cool carp, an astronaut. Um, so he's pretty much blocked out. Like the hardest part, I wouldn't say the hardest part, but one of the hardest parts is over. So, um, we'll do some detailing and stuff. He'll be done this week. But yeah, good night guys. And we'll see you next time I work on him. Good morning. Good, good morning. It is, it's about 8.45, 9 a.m., something like that. So we're gonna get started on our Bigfoot here. You can see I kind of just sketched out a little bit of a face. So I asked the customer I'm doing this for, I sent him a text this morning, just asking what kind of facial expression. Um, on the original one I had dropped it up, it was kind of like a slight smile, but you know what I mean? If it's a serious or angry face he wants, that totally changes the vibe. So we'll be doing kind of the face details a little bit later after I hear back from him. Um, you can see I literally just traced my hand here. So we're gonna be kind of working with the angle grinder a lot today, doing a lot of fun detailing. I'm gonna figure out what position I want this hand in. Um, I left it kind of big and blocky, so I had multiple options. And I think we're gonna get to the big feet today, which I've been so excited to do. Um, we'll probably do that towards the end. Maybe we even get some hair on him today, some hairy texture. I bought a new tool, guys. I bought it yesterday, so I can't wait to show you what that is. But enough blabbing. Um, let's get carving. We're getting there guys, we are getting there. Um, 
Let me just kind of give you guys a close up of everything we just did. So we got some nice texture here. So you can see what I was saying about how this is more like deep, longer grooves compared to this more fine hair. You can kind of see it a little easier in the back. So you have these long pulls and then pulled it all this way and this this way. Got a little bit. So he's pretty much all textured up like his main body. Um, I'm gonna leave this smooth. I kind of like that. It's kind of like ape-like. Um, so, and then I just brought the hair up to that last little ab I did. So now we're gonna focus on his feet. Again, this is Bigfoot, so his feet have to be, you know, one of the stars of the show. So I'm gonna pull up a chair. Um, don't really know which of my tools I'm gonna use, but uh, just go ahead and shape them and then we'll pull the textured hair to like here, kind of like into a point, and then the rest, his little toe veins will be smooth, kind of like his hands. I don't know if you saw this, so see how I left the fingers smooth? Obviously, had to give him some knuckle hair, right? So, kind of same thing there. It was hard to texture back here, so I didn't get much texture back there. Not worth taking a finger off, right? So we're getting there. But back to the grind. We are all textured. Um, you can see I have a yellow lab over there. Um, they're coming to pick him up in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna go and grab the torch for our big foot. And then depending on how much we chit chat with the dog, I'll torch him. Um, I'll probably do a couple of rounds of torching on this guy. Uh, so if we can get the first round in this evening, that would be awesome. As you can see, the sun is setting. Probably only have maybe 20 to 30 minutes of sunlight left. Goes down real quick, but I'm really happy with how he came out. So I think torching will really bring out this texture that we added. And then we might do a little bit more work on his face. You can see I just kind of dremeled in some little eyes and I made him some nostrils. I think I did that off camera. Um, but yeah, so we filled in his beard. He's looking good. Looking like a, a big foot. my hand. Oh, where's my brush? Where's my brush? This is just gonna get any of that extra uh, ash off. We're gonna torch round two.
we're back at it. So today we're gonna stain him. It's been probably two to three days since we left off by burning him. He's been sitting over on this little stepper right there, which is like the perfect location for letting things dry out because it gets a couple hours of sun in the morning, shade all during high noon, and then a couple hours of sun during the evenings. So I think it's been three days. I think it's been three days. So he's a little bit drier. Um, it's just on the greener side. So I wanted him to have a couple more days before we put a stain slash sealant on him. We're gonna be using the Australian timber oil there. Ignore my little botch bears there, but uh, <laughs> so we're gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna cut this first layer with some paint thinner and then I'll show you guys this layer, but I'm probably not gonna show you the other layers cause it's gonna be pretty redundant. Um, I actually did a little sample on his thumb here. I know you can barely tell the difference. This was also cut with uh, some paint thinner. So it's just gonna darken him up a little bit. And then that following coat's gonna really kind of make him shine and bring out all his beautifulness. So I'm very excited, but enough blabbing, let's get started. So Bigfoot has his second coat of oil on. I apologize for my shadow. So we get to do some fun stuff today. We're gonna paint his eyes in. We're actually gonna burn his eyes in. I have my tool right here. Um, you can see he has this nice gloss. The Australian timber oil, when you put that second layer on, it really just shines. So really happy with how he's coming out. Uh, again, I apologize for my shadow, but we're gonna burn his eyes in, then we're gonna paint his eyes. And yeah, um, I don't know how much more painting we'll do. I really like kind of the beautiful, like rustic look he has going on here. And like, usually I would kind of paint this in and around his nostrils, but the torch did a really good job at highlighting that. And then how we sanded away some of the burn. So I'm pretty happy with how he's looking, so. And I love this little hairline crack. I think it adds so much character to his little forehead rolls. But enough blabbing. Let's burn his eyes in and then we'll paint them. Okay. Pretty much only have one shot at this. And then what we're gonna do is paint the whole thing. This is kind of just where his pupils are. Awesome. So let's get painting. guys Bigfoot is officially done and he goes home today he's got his little eyes painted in I'm gonna miss having him around here I think some of our neighbors will too he's a pretty cool looking dude <laughs> 